So we've been asking this morning if you think schools should ban dresses and skirts. It's a question that's been raised after 40 ISD put out a list of what is and isn't acceptable as part of their dress code for this fall. Right, so Chris Sadeke is with us this morning. Chris, the district is not making uniforms mandatory, but most families might have to revamp their kids' wardrobe. Oh, Kara, there's nothing like a dress code story to get people fired up. We posted this story on our WFAA Facebook page yesterday morning, 8,000 comments. Here are just a few. Courtney Looper says, wow, how are dresses and skirts unprofessional? I loved wearing dresses as a teenager. I love being able to express myself through my clothes. Linda Piper says, this is ludicrous. This school district is definitely out of touch because what does wearing a hoodie or a dress have to do with professionalism or self-esteem? Okay, let's break down exactly what the Forney dress code says. It says no clothing with hoods inside of schools. Now, that's any kind of hoodie, a jacket, a coat. If it has a hood, it's a no-go. Also, no dresses, skirts, or skorts for anyone fifth grade or older. Forney ISD said the goal of this new dress code for the upcoming school year is to improve student self-esteem, bridge socioeconomic differences among students, and promote positive behavior, thereby enhancing school safety and improving the learning environment. In a YouTube video, the district also said it helps emphasize the importance of professionalism and work ethic students will eventually need in their professional lives. But it's too much and goes too far for some. Brooklyn Holloman is a 10th grader at Forney and has started a petition against the new dress code and her parents support her. I was told that uh, basically hoodies were a safety issue that kids wouldn't take the hoods off their heads. When I asked regarding the dresses, I was told that um, they were trying to teach professionalism Okay, to be fair, one of the comments on our Facebook is from a teacher. She says, as a high school teacher, I support the banning of hoods. Most kids wear them to hide their earbuds. This creates constant discipline issues all day, every day. That's fair enough. It would seem an easy fix to that is to say that you have to put your hood down. You can't wear the hood up. But Mark and Kara, it feels like we have one of these dress code stories every year in some district, and it never seems to go, ev go over peacefully. Well, I, I feel like maybe I should go home right now because I'm wearing a dress. So <laughs> I usually wear a dress every day, too. So yeah. I'm, I'm confused by the professionalism part. Well, it's a lot, though. I, I mean, it's 16 pages worth of regulations. And as I'm reading a lot of the restrictions, I remember something that would cropped up, you know, back as I, when I was a high school mm -hmm. student was that all these restrictions applied unless you were a, a cheerleader. Then you get to wear whatever you want. So I, I, it's, it's tricky. I feel for the educators. In this case, I feel for the parents, though. Okay, let us know what you think. You can weigh in right now at WFA.com slash vote now. But at this point, 95% of people are saying it goes a little too far. As far as our polls go, that's pretty overwhelming. Yeah.